How's it going everybody? I have another interesting computer video for you guys today. We're actually gonna be going and getting something that I saw through Craigslist that showed up actually about two hours ago. So really quick to check those deals and I think I have a good one. I'm actually heading out now. I'm gonna show you hopefully pretty cool find. Woo. My Amigo is driving off as you can see. I'm gonna rush home as soon as I get home. I will open up this PC for you guys to see. Well, I mean, it's already open, but uh, you guys will see it as soon as I get back. Here's a little sneak peek of what we got for 250, and the thing that makes it most definitely worth it behind it is the monitor. Kind of a steal. This thing is disgusting. Oh my God. Okay, so I brought the computer inside and I figured before we powered this thing on and did some benchmarks, we would go over a quick price breakdown. So the reason I even bought this computer is actually because of the processor. It has an FX8350 inside. Now, obviously the older AMD architecture wasn't exactly the best, but with eight cores, there is absolutely no way you aren't gonna get some kind of performance. Not only that, but these CPUs are actually known to have some insane overclock ability. So, Hopefully we will get to test that in this video. So if you were to get the CPU new, it would cost you $150 new. However, since this is a used computer, it doesn't exactly feel fair to price it at new and value it at that. So we're gonna value it at $80 because out of all my research I've seen on used markets, that's what it seems like you can get these for nowadays. As for the RAM, this computer comes with eight gigabytes of DDR3. Eight gigabytes of DDR3 new right now costs you about $60 online, so I'm gonna go ahead and value it at $30 used. As for the graphics card, you might have seen in the truck, but this is actually holding a single fan GTX 960. If you can get your hands on this at a reasonable price, this is an excellent card for used budget build gaming. Right now, new, you can get this for $200, but considering the times and the new release of Nvidia cards coming out, you'd be insane to pay for that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and value this at $100 used. Now this thing is actually running off of a one terabyte hard drive clocked at 7,200 RPMs. Western Digital sells their Caviar Blues right now, new for $45, so I'm gonna go ahead and value this thing at $25. Now, believe it or not, this computer actually does come with an optical drive, and while there isn't much use for them, people do still like to pay for them, and it's $20 new, so I'm gonna go ahead and value it at $10 used. As for the motherboard, it is a Sabertooth 990FX for an AM3 Plus socket. Right now, online new, you can get those for $100, so I'm gonna go ahead and safely value it at $50 used. Now for the power supply, this is actually new to my channel. I usually don't ever show any Corsair power supplies, Typically because they are just too expensive for budget building, but since this came in the PC, I think it's great that we can introduce a new part. This computer has the CX500M by Corsair, and typically these things run for $90 new. That's usually why I don't get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and value this thing at $45 used. Now you might've noticed this computer actually has a liquid cooler installed. From what I can tell, it might be an H60 from Corsair, and you can typically get those for around $50, $60 new. So I'm gonna go ahead and value this thing at $25 used. Now as for the case, from what I can tell, this is an older Raid Max Viper ATX size case. And part of the reason this guy sold it to me for so cheap is because it is actually missing the side panel. I did not just open this up so I could show you the parts inside. Since I'm only caring about performance, I don't necessarily care that this is missing the side panel, and to be honest, this might make for a great project in the future with a custom side panel. But until that day comes, this does actually affect the value of the case, so I'm gonna go ahead and value this thing at $10 used. Now what also made this deal so amazing is that this guy actually included his LG 25 inch 1080p monitor as well as an old Linksys wireless USB card. I think it would be unfair to not take that into account since those things do have value and will be resold to help fund the channel. So since the monitor goes for about $100 new and the wireless Linksys goes for about $20 new, I'm gonna go ahead and value those both at $60 used. Now after looking at everything combined and only calculating based off used value, this purchase is easily worth over $400 and I was able to buy it for $250. So now that we've done the price breakdown, let's get to the important part and that is the benchmarks. Hey, okay. I guess he did leave a password on here. I was the, the person who purchased the computer from you. I was just wondering, do you happen to know what the, uh, the password is to log into the computer? Now, before we actually get to the benchmarks, let's take a look at the temperatures of this machine at idle. Okay, so the temperature is actually kind of jumping around in between 30 to 40 Celsius at idle, which is kind of weird. I've never seen a computer do that before, but 
Those temperatures aren't completely out of the ordinary, so let's go ahead and just check the GPU. Okay, so the 960 single fan card at idle is at 46 degrees Celsius. So, so far, nothing seems too out of the ordinary for this used build. Let's go ahead and jump into some games. are the benchmarks for this computer. Something I wanted to point out that you might have been able to put together is that earlier I mentioned that the monitor as well as the Linksys Wi-Fi USB stick roughly amount to a $60 used value. So if we knock those out and sell them, which I fully intend to do, this computer actually breaks down to be a $190 purchase that is easily worth $400 used. After some cable management and heavy dusting, I fully intend on selling this computer. But as you guys know, this is an FX 8000 series AMD processor. What's the point of getting one of these processors if you don't try to overclock it as much as you can? Let's just see how far can we push this processor. Okay, so I think I've got it. I'm gonna overclock this to 4.6 gigahertz. From what I could tell, I actually can't touch the CPU core voltage, which is really weird. So hopefully this works and there's no problems. Okay, so what's interesting is the core voltage of the CPU has actually risen from 1.38 to 1.42 just from the overclock. So it seems like the CPU and the motherboard have an automatic function that where it will increase the voltage depending on what you want to clock your processor at. So this thing is actually only at 46 Celsius idle. That's not great, don't get me wrong, but it's not bad. It's making me think that we might be able to go a little bit higher. So let's see what we can do here. Computer just completely froze. Uh, <laughs> from what you can see, the processor is actually too old to be overclocked. Anyways, I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching it. And as always, have a great day.
Oh, and a few people keep telling me that I should ask for subscribers and for people to like the videos at the end of this. So, like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs>